I at an event. A uh, woman says, you know, Dr. Gloria, I want to tell you about my sister-in-law and I We have this new business. We have all these old bottles. We find old bottles in thrift stores and play markets and yard sales. And, you know, we take the bottles and we put them on eBay. And I'm so happy because I sold an old bottle for $1,200 on eBay. And I was thrilled. I thought this was great. So I said, okay. So she goes, and then a couple months later, I get a letter from the guy who I sold the bottle to. He ends up to be the head, the president of the bottle collecting society. So he's a bottle dealer. He says to me, you stupid woman. He writes this in a letter to this woman. You stupid woman. I can't believe you sold that very rare bottle for $1,200. I know, you're just, your jaw just dropped, right? For $1,200 to me because you didn't know what you were doing and I resold it for $60,000. Can you believe this? $60,000. I believe it. You believe it, right? So he does that, right? So I, so I said, how does that affect you? Here's how that affects you. Do you know how it affects you? No, you figure, oh well, poor woman, too bad. Know what you, you're selling, know what you have before you go to sell it. Here's how it affects you. You go to eBay and you look up sold bottles. And that bottle, that picture of that bottle is sitting there, and across from it it says $1,200. And it looks like that's all it's worth. But you know what? It's wrong. Because he bought it from that woman who didn't know for $1,200. You're looking at that sales record, which is faulty. Right? And now you don't know it's really worth 60000 So when you go to sell your bottle, you think, oh, I'm pricing it at 1200 And he buys another one. He ends up getting the second one, too. 